lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. Oh, that filthy creep. I hate him. Oh, he's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. Uh, ladies and a gentlemen. I have travelled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. Kindly take your elbow. We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon, but you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we could eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream. No closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... do something. Oi! Kids, come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants. 
blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. The warrants blew off in that direction. Through the alley by that bloke with a picture box. So, we're looking like for those instant warrants. image. But for now, let's find <laughs> some more money. <laughs> Pull the other one. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm. I only have one gold left. But you're right. I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Into our lives. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. Wondrous! This thing's going to be more popular than that box. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. Not wagging but your tail now, are you, Come on! Rick's caught a dog! Oh, and he's gonna kick Oh, what's the matter, Poochie? Does it hurt? Hey! What the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh. He hit a girl! Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one! Keep smacking! Thanks for your help. I could have taken him, though. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Glad to be that Rex. He deserved it. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. Do. Need help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. 
You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those hideous vermin... Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Kid, Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname's behalf. Yeah! Smash him up! Go! Oh, good one! He'll be out of business in no time. Great stuff, kid. <laughs> Great work, kid. You've got a real talent there, you do. That'll teach Balthazar not to pay Nicky the nickname. Here, catch. I'm ruined. My stock is destroyed. You're not children. You're monsters. You're no better than those savage, vile beetles that are still in my warehouse. That was a laugh, wasn't it? Getting paid to smash things up. I don't, don't and call me a thief. We're really doing it. Oh, my name's Magpie. Shut up! Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight, even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar. Has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. So you'll bring me back my bottle? Yes! Ugh. Let's find this magpie guy. That must be magpie. And there's the bottle. Get it, little sparrow. But don't wake him up. Now, oh, officer, I came by all this stuff legally. Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. You ain't the boss of me. No, I'm your friend. Hey, the quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids! Look out for the wagon! Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. Give me the wine. No, don't! Give it to me! Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. I used to be an accountant. 
Don't drink. It'll ruin your life. <laughs> you admit it. Um. Well done. He probably saved his life. From this day forth. And that's three gold coins now. Just two more and we can buy the music box. We've got three now. Just two more to go. Hey, you found one. Looks like a warrant, doesn't it? Only one more warrant left to find. Keep your... your eyes open. That's all the warrants. We should go back to the ah. You fall like a hero. Hey, it's my favourite couple of kids. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. What's it going to be then? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think Have you found them? Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's your gold piece. That's just sort out this town? My career's made now. It's an honor to be a Four gold coins. We just need one more. Shh. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. Things are quiet and peaceful. What's the matter with you? Oh, little ones. My situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like... like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. Knock on the door and let's see who answers. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in.
wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch Belinda. anything. Well, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. I know I left it here somewhere. Come on, let's go buy that music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. Hello, children! Hello. We've come to buy the music box. Very wise, little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet-like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish, I wish. Gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. To settle down. There's a nice uh, angry stray dog. Quiet boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little sparrow, wake up. It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you, I promise. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Ha, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and Little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? Well, history, mostly. 
Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he is chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Uh, yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Children! It's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh... <laughs> Well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I am working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. What's that? Nothing to worry about. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? What are you? Wait. There's, My lord, something what here. What's that like? Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. 
his grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. <laughs>